Though the storm is long gone, things are still rocky for some Sun Country customers. Minnesota Senator Tina Smith is even calling for a federal investigation after the airline left hundreds of people stranded and forced them to find other ways home. As Heidi Wigdahl reports, many still don't have clear answers. With no answers from Sun Country, we had some unresolved issues. Amy Korsgren and her friends showed up at the headquarters in Egan. They're like, no, the earliest you could get out is by flying, uh, we'll put you on a standby list for the flight on Thursday, but there's 40 people ahead of you. 13 of them were in Mexico celebrating a birthday, only to get stranded and have to find other ways of flying home. They did nothing for us. A few of them drove straight from Chicago to here. Done a lot of traveling. It happens, but communicate with us. Even when we went to the airport, no communication. I mean, I'm sure there's still people stranded there. The corporate people in Minnesota have not been good to work with. Gretchen Ream and her family were supposed to leave Cancun on Monday. They're like, well, you don't have seats on this, this flight. And we're like, what do you mean we don't have seats? We have a confirmed flight. This is our travel date. And they're like, yeah, we overbooked this flight. In a statement, Sun Country apologized to all the travelers affected, saying it was the result of the snowstorm and the end of their winter schedule, with planes already slated for other flights. We're supposedly confirmed on a flight tomorrow. Although we haven't seen our tickets yet and we haven't seen any of the vouchers that they said they would email to us. Can I come in and talk to you? Like it just feels weird talking out here on the phone. Sun Country would not talk to this group in person. Instead, Damn. taking their names and numbers. It's the principle of it. So I'm willing to put in the time and the effort, which sometimes people aren't. I think that's a problem. Now Sun Country says they are offering full refunds, but it may take up to a week to process. Former